Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you will consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Just go ahead and hit that red button down there somewhere and subscribe so that I can update you every time I share a new and fun video. Today's video, I really enjoy making these kind of videos so much and I enjoy watching them. There is something about seeing what someone keeps in their purse that is so interesting to me and I always find things that I don't have in my purse and I'm like, how did I ever live without that? Like, of course I need that in my purse. But today is the opposite because I need to get rid of some of the things in my purse because it is way too heavy. So I'm going to show you legit everything that's in it. I haven't cleaned it out or gone through it. And then we're going to see what I do not absolutely need to have to save on my shoulder and back a little bit because it can be a lot because I always want to take so much with me everywhere I go. <laughs> All right, so here is my handbag and I love it, it's so beautiful. I got this for Valentine's Day and I've been enjoying it ever since. The only thing is, it is so heavy and that is not because of the purse alone, it is because of everything that's in it. So let me show you everything that I carry around with me and maybe we can get rid of like one or two things, we'll see. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, I'll show you a little bit about how the handbag stores things. So we have three different pockets. So there's one pocket in the front here, and then we have this nice big zipper compartment in the middle, and then there is another compartment in the back. So I love having the three different slots, and then once I get some of the stuff out, I can show you some of the other smaller compartments inside. Also, it has a crossbody strap, which is wonderful, and handles. So I do have options in how I carry this bag, which is a great thing. All right, let's see. What do we have in my bag? Of course I have my cell phone. I mean, you don't go anywhere without your phone, right? I don't think any of us do in this day and age. I have a face mask, another thing that we never leave the house without lately. Also, these leather gloves that I might have had these since high school. I vaguely remember dressing up as a cat for Halloween my senior year and wearing these gloves. And guys, I'm not even gonna tell you how long ago that was, but they, you know when you have a really good pair of leather gloves, they just last forever? So that's this pair. <laughs> and then of course, I also have my sunglasses. I don't leave the house without them. It doesn't matter what time of year because I can't drive or take a walk or anything without sunglasses. These are super cute. Are they a little big for my face? All sunglasses are so big for my face. And now I'm looking in the camera, I'm like, they're big, but they're Ray-Ban. They're just basic black sunglasses, go with everything. And I don't leave the house without them. So, so far I think everything is staying. <laughs> I don't think there's anything yet that I can possibly get rid of. Okay, so, this is an adorable little Junie and Burke like change purse and it has Tinkerbell on it. But one thing, another thing that I definitely can't leave the house without are my EpiPens. My daughter and my son both have peanut and Trina allergies. So I carry this with me just in case of an emergency. I always, always have to be prepared with that. And I was so excited that they fit perfectly in this adorable change purse. So super cute. And then I have this little bag and I don't even know what's in it. Okay, so in here I just have a little notebook. It says thinking about thinking. <laughs> and I have some band-aids of various different sizes. I also have a few pens and a Sharpie. And there goes a pen. And that's everything that's in this bag. The reason I have it all in a bag is because I don't want the pens to leak in my purse. So I just figured it was good to put the notebook and the pens in a bag. And of course, some receipts which can come out. And then I have this cute Minnie Mouse brush. And it's like the kind that you flip it over, it has a mirror, and then you just like could pop the brush out because you never know when you need a brush or a mirror. So it kind of is a dual purpose there. And that is just one side. <laughs> So now let's go to the middle and see what's in here. Okay, so now that I opened the middle compartment, I can just kind of show you better. I can just kind of show you 
there are slots on the side here. And then there's like a zipper compartment here as well. There we go. So you can kind of see the entire inside of the zipper compartment. And what I have on the side slot is some gum. Shopping list. A lot of garbage in here that I need to get rid of, more receipts. And then this is so cute. Target sold these little mask bags and you can actually clip it onto your purse, but it's just to keep an extra mask in there. So I thought that was a good idea. Plus to keep it clean, I hate just like throwing it in my purse. Oh, this is something that we all need to have all the time. Tweezers. I always have to have tweezers. You just never know when you're gonna need tweezers. And then I have my wallet and I love using this wristlet because sometimes I don't need to bring my whole purse with me. I just need to have money. So I can um, just pull the wristlet right out of my purse and I can just bring this alone. So I highly recommend instead of using a wallet, use a wristlet or a wallet that has the capacity of clipping something like this on it so that if you don't need to bring the big mom bag with you everywhere, if you're going somewhere alone, you can just bring your wristlet. And then I just have my reading glasses, this little Ariel bag. So I have so many little bags and I like don't even know what's in them. Oh, okay. This is another mandatory item, some hand sanitizer. This Grove hand sanitizer, it's blood orange scent. It smells so good. <laughs> Really it does. If you um, order from Groove, definitely try it out. The scent is amazing. And then I just have more. I have so many masks. I like throw them in there and then I forget about them. More receipts, garbage, and oh geez, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, this is so cute. My mom got this for me for Christmas. So it's this little container that holds a lipstick. So I have my lipstick in there and then another mirror. And I just think it's so cute and like sophisticated. So I have that. This also comes in handy. I need everything in my purse, like so bad. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of anything. So this is a little contraption that you set on a table and then you can hook your purse on it. So when you go to a restaurant or something, instead of putting your purse on the floor or taking up table space, you just hook this right on the edge of the table and you hang your purse on it. And I use it all the time actually, it really comes in handy. And then I have a couple of scrunchy hair ties, Rolades and Advil. I have some Disney Princess lip gloss. This is, I think, from the uh, Belle Designer Collection. <laughs> and then I have some hand lotion. My hands are always super dry, especially at this time of year. And my eyes are always super dry this time of year, so I also have some eye drops. Can you guys think of anything yet that's not essential? Because I can't. Earplugs. I've never had to use them, but I still feel like I need to have them with me. So I don't know why, but I have them in there too. Okay, so that is everything that was in the middle compartment, everything that was in the back compartment. So now we are going to look at the stuff in the front, which actually is minimal, so not too bad. I always like to have a book with me, but because the purse was so heavy, I did not keep a book in there, but I do have these little poetry books and it's just something to have to read if I'm ever in the car waiting for the kids to finish sports or waiting in the car for a doctor's appointment because everything we do nowadays, I feel like we're waiting in the car. So <laughs> I like to have the ability to read something and to not always be like scrolling on my phone. So a little book of poetry. Of course, tissues, a little package of tissues. I have my car keys. Isn't that cute? It's the castle at the Magic Kingdom. And my car key is just basically one of these like little things with all the remote control kind of things on it. It's not an actual key. Where are my actual keys? Oh, here they are. And then I just have my keys. And finally, I think this is the last component. It's a two-faced compact, but it's actually a mirror and I just keep it to have an extra mirror in my purse. Okay, so I have done an assessment and here are the things I can get rid of. Earplugs, an extra mask, and the additional mirror because I already have some. And that's it. I really don't think I can get rid of anything else. It's all super duper important stuff. Do you guys agree? Let me know in the comments below if everything that I bring in my purse is 
definitely important because I can't think of anything else that I could possibly get rid of. Also, let me know if there's something that I'm missing. That's not gonna help. <laughs> it's not gonna help my problem. But let me know if there's something that I have not included that you would not leave the house without. And that's going to be it today. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that's in my handbag. It was really a lot of fun to share it with you. Like I said, I'm always super curious to see what other people have in their handbags as well. I just think it's really interesting, just like I like watching grocery hauls. It's just a weird thing for me. So <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things, and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.